Yes, uh, Mr. Jihad, how are you? Yes, uh, I'm calling to uh, refute some things you're saying. Go ahead. So, you, what you have to understand about a lot of those uh, verses in the hadith, hmm. or those hadiths that you were discussing okay. about, you know, Muhammad and the flying horse, hmm. this is metaphorical. And, ah, and no, no, hold on, hold on. When you say it's metaphorical, do you have a proof? My friend, listen, if I'm going to have a debate, stick to the Quran. Don't come to the hadith. Stick to the Quran. Because okay. this is the word of Allah. Okay. The hadith is something which is debatable. No problem. But what I'm saying to you, do you have a proof? I did not say to you, you have, I did not say to you where you stick. Stick as you want. You can be any glue. You stick yourself anywhere you want. I'm asking you, do you have a proof that this is metaphorical? If there is any single scholar agree that this is metaphorical, not even one. So you are coming with a new Islamic sect, which we never heard of, claiming something nobody believes in. Are you a Muslim for sure or are you a Hindu? Can we just stick to the Quran? You can stick as much as you want. No problem. I'm saying to you, if there is any Islamic sect agree with you, is the Sunni agree with that? Is the Shia agree with that? What? what, what? I, I, no, no. As a matter of fact, I know that they do that. Uh, they do not agree with it. But I'm saying, well, let me tell you, there are some. Uh, if you if you watch in Arabic language, uh, some shiuch on uh, on memory TV, hmm. they are going through Sunni ones. They are going through and saying these hadith are false. As a matter of fact, you could say that some of these hadith are uh, insulting the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They are insulting him. Some Sunni shiukh, I seen it with my own eyes, wallahi. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Wallahi. So, but isn't it, but, but isn't it this is, is... I want to stick with the Quran. My, my friend, isn't it this is Sahih al-Bukhari? So you Muslim Sunni, you call it Sahih and now you are saying it's a lie. I'm saying there's a, there, perhaps some of them are, uh, the, the, it's... Um, not entirely reliable, some of them. Okay, so what is the problem? That's what I'm telling you to go to the Quran. I right. will destroy anything you want to say about the Quran. Oh, so you, not, you want me to change the topic because here the story is in the hadith and you are saying what that is good. You're okay. talking about the flying horse? Okay, no problem. Listen, no. As long as you choose the Quran for me, I want to ask you something about the Quran. If there is something in the Quran, you see, I'm going to give you freedom now. To prove to me from your Quran, I'm, not, I'm going to forget about the whole story. You are a person who is Quran only. Are you a Quran only? For the most part. No, you cannot say for the most part. Either Quran only or not Quran only. You can. Hadith, if, if it's acceptable, if it's acceptable, uh -huh. يعني, if it's narrated by you know a Rashidun, fine. But some some other people, Sahabi, which you know we cannot. Uh, say if they are reliable or not, I uh, have to okay. take it with a grain of salt. But, but I'm showing you hadith says it's sahih, this is sahih, this is sahih Bukhari, so it is... A, saying, a, this whole hadith situation, it, it's it's being reevaluated. By who? There, I've seen it, there's shiuch who are saying... My friend, my friend, the shiuch you are saying, I heard a sheikh yesterday, a few days ago in Egypt, his name is Sheikh Izmizu, and he's from Al-Azhar University. I don't know if you heard of him. He says, Kitab al-Bukhari Maskhara. Correct? Did you hear it? Al-Bukhari Maskhara? Yeah, he said that. You can search it right now on Google. I can put it for you on the screen. Okay. Yeah, okay. You can see the Bukhari Maskhara. But he said no. He said all al-Bukhari is Maskhara. I'm, say, I'm saying that uh, there's you know, a lot you know, of you know, you know what Maskara means, right? I'm trying to tell you that there are a lot of things in Sahih al-Bukhari which could be inaccurate in my view. Oh, okay. How we knew that the Quran is not the same? I mean, the Quran is a book collected long after that. And here we go. I'm going to give you a chance, my friend. I will change the whole topic. Choose for me something in the Quran proven to be true. Why don't we, well, I wanted to start with, uh, you know, there's a lot of mathematical, you know, if you look at Sh Shabir Ali, what he said, hmm. there's a lot of mathematical patterns in the Quran. All of them, they are lies. And I, I know, all of them, they are, the Arab the my friend, my friend, all of them, all of them are lies. And I, you, are, you speak Arabic, right? 
I I speak, you know, I'm me of 80%. No problem, but you can read it. I can I can calculate the numbers for you of the letters and you speak Arabic and you will see how I can get them busted in a few seconds. I have a good basis in Arabic and I can see it. Yes, I have a strong basis in Arabic, but English I'm stronger in it. No problem, but you can count letters, right? So the, those yes. those liars they say number 19 is the miracle. If we count the chapter, we go Ar-Rahman. Bismillah Ar-Rahman. Is it 19 letters? No. Because if you speak Arabic, you see that the first the first word is bism. I cannot see anything. Do you, are you sharing your screen? I'm sharing the screen, yeah. Where? In the Skype or the YouTube? In the YouTube. But just to be sure you mute YouTube, please, so that we don't have double sound. Okay, I'll mute the YouTube. So are you putting it now? Yeah, it's what in the screen. That? It's in the screen. Okay. okay. So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yeah, what is... Uh -huh. Okay, what is the first, uh, first word here? Is bism, right? Yes. This is a change of letters happen after they wrote and they draw the Quran. This is a drawing. The word, the true word writing is bism. Do you agree? Bism, yes. Correct. In the name so, of Allah. Thank you very much. What's so guys, so the first one is bism. Here we go. So we have to add a letter now. Here we go, bism. So 19 became 20. Look at the Rahman. Allah, Allah. Allah have shed that. That means there's two L, two letters. That's make them two letters. We add one more letter here. This is 21. And now we have in the top of the letter Ra, another Shadda. That's another Ra. This is another letter. And now we have in the top of the Ra here, another Shadda. That's another Ra. So number 19 became what? Became 20, 21, 22, 23 letters. And your miracle is being destroyed, smashed in a two second. No, those are not letters. They are letters. The uh, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahman, my friend. They are letters. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. You can go to the guy. His name. What his name, guys? The guy who who, who make a, a pattern in the Quran. What his name? For this. You but, know, my friend. I don't want you to confuse the people out there. Okay? My friend, you speak Arabic, and you are the one who agree with me. You are the one who agree with me. Everybody heard you saying that the word bism is bism. Did you say bism? And you agree? You said you agree. You said yes, bism, not bism, bism. So bism. So there is a letter alif. So, Bismillah. No, there's nothing called Bism. Okay, are you saying? Okay, are you saying if you write the word Bism is wrong or Bism is correct? Which one? Those are those are nukat and they're not letters. No, they are letters. They are alif, alif, Bism, Bism, Bism. Who said their letters, my friend? Who said their letters? Okay, this um, is the first time I heard this. Okay, this is like you know. Okay, I want you. you I, wa this? I, I want, want you. I thing? want you. I want you. I want you to look with me in the screen. If I write it, if I write the word like this. I'm using my mouse, okay? If I write it like this, is it wrong? I didn't see. It's in the screen. Oh, okay, yeah, in the red letters. Okay, is it wrong? Which one is correct? The one as in the Quran, it says, or the one I wrote? But like when you write Arabic, you don't have to use those. You can just. No, no, no. Use I'm not, those my words. friend, my friend. Well, can we can we be straight in answer, please? Which one is correct? This one in the Quran or the one I wrote? You put ba alif. Uh huh. So that's not correct. Not correct, guys. Be my witness. It's not correct. Be my witness. Is not the, correct. Okay. The one you you oh, put ba alif. No problem. It's not correct. Okay, not correct. I I agree. You know. Okay, guys. He he not correct. He insists. So if I show it to you now in the Quran, written the same, if I show it to you in the Quran right now, written as I wrote it for you, what you would do? Again, say again. Say again, you see now he's getting nervous. If I show it to you in the Quran, the same as I wrote it for you, what you would do? You're gonna show me the, the way you wrote it in the Quran, uh -huh. as the way you, you have this in the Quran? Yeah. And you said it's wrong. Everybody heard you. I challenge you to show me. Okay, I if I if I show you what you would do, you leave Islam. My friend, you, you're not my friend. Okay, go ahead and show me, but you go to the points which are which are of no significance. Okay. What do you mean no significance? You know, because now, these because are no, no, it, it, no, they are, are no, they are, no, they are. are. No, be, no, they are, no, they are, because simply, because simply, here we go, oh, hold on, it's in the front of you, you see it? This is exactly how I wrote it. 
and appear in the Quran at least four times. Exactly as I wrote it. But it's a different word, maybe. What different word? Sabbih bi ismi rabbika al You speak Let's Arabic. Let me do it, my friend. Let me go on the computer and see this. <laughs> remember, guys, Let's he said... Let me see. Remember, he said, this is wrong. This is wrong. This cannot be written like this. This is wrong. سبح باسم ربك الأعلى العظيم This is in the Quran? No, this is in Mickey Mouse book Well What do you I don't mean? have an answer for that. Uh, so, so the miracle, the fabrication, got so busted. So, so I uh, can you. Okay, you can no, consult. Let's sit with him. Uh -huh. I can come back to you. Okay, no problem. Okay, forget about this one. The first one turned to be false. Give me something else. The first one about the numbers 19, etc. It became garbage. So give me something can be proven to be true. Forget about this one. We forgive thee. Something else which is proven to be true? Yeah, to be true in the Quran. Something the Quran the says. He had many prophecies which came true. Like what? Okay. He, I mean, the Quran, it, it prophesized the Big Bang Theory. Oof, 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 oof. Really? Where? Wallahi, I will have to look it up. Uh-huh. I need to... Uh, I will mute you for a minute and I will find my source and come back. Okay. I will be waiting for you. If you if you don't if you don't know how to find, I can help it for you. You know, I mean, it's it's okay. It's uh, we help each other. There's a verse hmm. which it's uh, it's a Big Bang, okay, and I know it from a from a, hmm. a scholar. And I will I will find it. I can find it for you in a back. second. Here we go. Chapter twenty one, verse number thirty. It says, أَوَلَمْ يَرَى الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِنَّ السَّمَاوَاتَ وَالْأَرْضَ كَانَتَ رِتْقًا فَفَتَقْنَاهُمَا وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيٍّ. So do you agree with this verse? Yeah. Do you agree with it? Yeah. Are you sure? So this is science. And I, 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 I am, uh, you know, when it comes to Islam, I come from a logical perspective. I oh, that's wonderful. From logical. Logic. Uh -huh. Okay. From understanding. Hmm. I like that, my friend, Jihad. Listen. It says here, don't the believers see? Does it say see? Alam yara? Alam yara? Correct? Or I'm giving false translation. Awalam yara. What the word yara mean? What is it? Awalam yara. What the word yara mean? Yara? Mm. I, you know, as I said, uh, I'm not 100%, so as a matter of fact, that specific word, I, mm. I'm not uh, completely sure. Yara, ra, uh, see. D -d don't they see? It says, don't, see, don't they see? Correct? Yara. Don't they see? Even okay. translation, read the translation, it says, don't they see? Okay, so don't they see that the heaven and the earth they used to be joined together? Is that the Big Bang? Here it says, this, yes, this, yes, this, yes, yes. Okay, hold on. Yes, 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 I like it, how excited you are. It says here, didn't they see in the time of Muhammad? This is something they see. Do we see until now the Big Bang? We never saw it yet, this is theory. Nobody saw the Big Bang. It says, awalam yara ladina kafaru. Don't they see? Is that Join something you see? Allah spread them apart. No problem, but he's saying, okay, no problem. Guys, Allah spread them apart. Spread apart what? He spread apart the heavens and the earth, and this is the Big Bang, and then okay. it comes so, so you, uh, so you are Okay, so you are saying that the Quran says there was earth and there was heaven, and we separated them, correct? Yes. Okay. Correct. But the Big Bang doesn't say that because you just said, admitted that there is heaven, there is earth. We just separated them. The Big Bang doesn't say that. It says there was nothing. There is no earth. Have to say that. You are the one who said that. You are the one who said there was earth, there was heaven, and we just separated them. So this is not the beginning of the creation. This is. This is an inference. This is an inference. What inference, my, my friend, my friend, it says, oh, what I'm here, don't they see? And then they separate the heaven and the earth. So 
what what happened? What happened? What the Quran saying? The earth and the heaven they used to be. Which, which comes much later in time. Hey, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. What the Quran says, but okay. you can infer based off this. Okay, hold on. That okay. That's what it's referring. To. Jihad, jihad. What is the problem with you, uh, Mr. Christian? Is you take everything so literal, 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 literally, mm. like like a hundred times literally. Right, because 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 here you have the micro, microscope of a Christian prince. We have we make the image so big so nobody can lie to us. And look what happened to you. You you just admitted I am the one who is making it so clear, and you are the one trying to go. No, don't go by details. Just let it go. Let me ask you. You mentioned something about which one comes first. According to the Quran, which one comes first? The sky, the stars, or the earth? Which one's created first? The heaven. The heaven, guys, did he say the heaven? Did he say the heaven created first? Are you sure? Hey, my friend, listen. No, 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 a second ago, a second ago, you were discovered. A second ago, you were discovered in the Big Bang. Now you do not know which one is created first, and you don't dare to say, "I'm sure." I asked you, which one is created first? You said the heaven, and now you are trying to swallow it because you are afraid I'm going to show you something. Will 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 torture what you said. So can you be, please? I'm speaking to you nicely in respect, Mr. Jihad. Can you be honest and tell us, according to Islam, which one? Which I will make it simple for you. Listen carefully. I have a Bible verse I want to share with no, the viewers. No, no problem. You can search as, you know, but don't change the topic. Please. This is the, this is a weakness spot on you. You are changing the topic because it's embarrassing. So now let us switch to talk about cars. So I want to ask you, which one Allah created first? I will choose two objects, one from the earth and one from the heaven. The stars or the trees? And dust. The and stars. The stars. I, I, I believe it's, it's the stars because okay. uh, the earth is, is next. Okay. All right. So, guys, he believed, our friend here, uh, he believed the stars was created first. That's wonderful. I didn't confirm it. Ah, uh, you did not confirm it. So, what you confirm to us now? So, you are saying, can you confirm, please? I mean, what's wrong with, what, what's wrong with Muslims? Why they can't confirm anything? A second ago, it was obvious. Now, because you're afraid, after my friend, why you have to be insulting? I am not no, insulting. insulting either. I'm, I'm speaking like to an adult. Have an intellectual discussion. I'm speaking to an adult. Us. So give me an answer of an adult. I asked you: Is the stars created first? You said first, and then now a second I, after. I said the stars are first. Yes. Okay. So are you going to change your mind, or this is fixed answer, a man answer? Okay, well, I need to see it. Don't think, tell me the answer. Is it fixed or this is a game? Are we speaking to a man? He says something, he believes in it, or a kid who says he changes his mind every two seconds? So, is the stars created first? Either you say yes or no. The stars yes, are they, okay. They are created first. Okay. Absolutely. So, so the stars are created before the mountains, before the trees, before every all those things. Correct. Again, yes. Okay, guys. Yeah. My friend here, he's helping us a lot to show you that Islam is a false cult. And here is the answer. This is the Quran. And this is how Allah describing how he created things step by step. Chapter 41. And you can read the translation you wish. Which translation you like? Uh, Yusuf Ali. Yusuf Ali. No problem. Yusuf Ali. You read Yusuf Ali. If you don't, are you sure you will change your mind soon? No. Uh, go ahead. Okay. You, you speak Arabic anyway, so that will help us. Let us go to Yusuf Ali. All right. It says here, Is that ye? Deny him who created the earth in two days. He created the what? The earth in two days. And then he set on the earth mountains standing firm, high above it, and he bestowed blessing on earth and measured all things. What's it? 
Now you are reading different verse. My friend, you are reading different verse. Chapter 41. Read with me. As long as you mention Arabic, let me, in your Arabic, you know, okay, let us read together. It says here, خَلَقَ الْأَرْضَ فِي يَوْمَيْنِ وَتَجَعَلُونَ لَهُ أَنْدَادَ ذَلِكَ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَجَعَلَ فِيهَا رَوَاسِي مِنْ فَوْقِهَا وَبَارَكَ فِيهَا وَقَدَّرَ فِيهَا أَقْوَاتَهَا فِي أَرْبَعَةِ أَيَّامٍ سَوَاءٌ لِلسَّائِلِينَ Okay, so two days to create the earth, four days to create everything in the top of the earth. Until now, there was nothing in the sky. And then, look, the translation is false. It says, moreover, in Arabic, it says... to mention it? Does it have to mention the sky? Yes, because he's saying, he mentioned the sky now. He mentioned, he says, and thumma. Thumma in Arabic is something you say for something that not happened right away. It took a period of time. Thumma stawa. And then, and then he went out to the sky, and he designed the sky, and the sky was a smoke. There was nothing. No stars. You jumped verses, man. I want to see exactly what I'm you're saying. I'm not jumping. I'm not jumping. Okay, okay. I want you to. I want you to read it. You can read it. No problem. So, so to avoid jumping, I want you to read. It. Can you read for us? Yeah. Okay. You start reading, please. You you read, and I will be. I will be listening to you. To you. You what you say, and uh, to be sure, you know. He said to it into the earth, come, ye together, willingly or unwillingly. Uh huh. They said, okay, you, you see, I cannot see now. What, what, right. what willingly and willingly? What are you talking about? I'm, I'm looking in your screen. Okay, well, you are reading from which verse? Start from where? My friend, you have something on the screen. Okay, read from verse number nine. So we can start from the beginning. Verse number nine in the screen. Here we go. I put it for you on the screen. Number nine? Yeah. Okay, do you scroll? Let me... Uh... Do you verily, you have to, to disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days and you set up rivals with him, that is the Lord of Rabbil Alameen. Hmm. Okay. Okay, verse number 10. He placed therein firm mountains from above it and he blessed it and measured therein its sustenance. In four days. Wonderful. For all those who ask. Okay. Verse number 11. Huh? Verse number 11 now. Then he, Stawa, rose over towards the heaven when it, scroll down a little bit, when it was smoke hmm. and said to it and to the earth, come both of you willingly or unwillingly. Okay. They said we come willingly. Okay. Verse number 12. Then he completed and finished from their creation. Go down. Hmm. Seven heavens in two days. Hmm. And? Continue. Okay, well. And he made in each heaven its affair. And we adorn the nearest, lowest heaven with lamps to be in adornment as well as to guard the devils by using them as missiles against the devils. <laughs> so what is the last thing Allah created? The stars. Okay, what's your point? But my point, I asked you which one Allah created first. He said, for sure, the stars. Why? Because you are a believer in the Big Bang. But here you see, the big, this is not, there's no Big Bang, first of all. Secondly, according to your God, Allah, He created everything in the earth. He created all the, all the trees, all the mountains, all the rivers, everything, every, all, you know, all the creatures, the grass, the trees. And then at the end, He made the stars. Do you agree with this? The Quran says it, I agree with it. Okay, guys, the Quran says it, you agree with it. So now we will change your opinion. So it is not the mountains that created first, it was the stars, correct? No, the Quran says the stars is created last. Okay, and so I'm saying it's not the mountains that created first, it was this, uh, uh, sorry, it's, it's not, uh, it's not this, uh, uh, this is my mistake, sorry. It's not the mountains, the mountains are created first in this chapter. Not the stars, correct? The stars was lost. The Quran says it. Okay, thank you. But in different verse in the Quran, it says the opposite. In different verse in the Quran, it says that Allah created the stars first, 
And then he created the mountains. Well, okay, well... Um, what? I have, to, I have to research. What do you mean you have to research? What, what research for what? This is Quran. You speak Arabic, you are helping me very nicely. And I appreciate having you here because you speak Arabic, which is wonderful. And uh, I was ignorant after you call me. After you call me, now I am I am very well uh, informed and I know better. So can we read together and see what the Quran is saying? Read carefully. This is the Quran, chapter okay, well, seventy nine. This is the Quran. I mean, I don't have I don't, I don't have an answer really, to be honest. No with problem. You. But this is the Quran, chapter seventy nine, saying, "You can read. Go ahead, read for us." Verse number twenty seven. Go up, you, you passed it. No, I'm there. 27, you passed it. Are you the harder to create? Are you the harder to create or the heaven? He made it. Mm -hmm. He raised high its height, then put it into a right good state. Mm -hmm. And he made dark its night and brought out its light. Mm -hmm. Read, read, read loud, read loud, so people can see the wisdom of Allah. Hmm. He raised high its height, then put it into a right good state. Hmm. And he made dark its night and brought out its light. Hmm. And the earth, he expanded it after that. Okay, hold on. And the earth expanded after that. And then, the and then, and, and then he brought from water and, uh, and postage. Where does it say stars? Okay, but you see, he made the stars here. It says here. Show me the word stars. Okay, Maybe. guys, Where show me, stars? show me, show me the word stars. You speak Arabic, don't you speak Arabic? It says, He made the night and he brought the light. He was talking about the heaven. Is it is it you harder to create all the heaven? He raise it high above, and he make it in our state, and then he and then he made the dark. I have to look into it. But then it's it's so clear in the other chapter it says you agreed that the last thing Allah he created was the stars. Here Allah he finished the sky, he finished the stars, he made the day, he made the night, and after that. The earth he expanded it, and after that he put the water, and after that he put the mountains. The last thing here in the chapter 79 was the mountains. In the other chapter 41, the last thing was the stars. In the other chapter there, the first in the beginning was the mountains. If we go here, you will see that the first thing Allah he made, it was, after he created the earth, it's the mountain. Look, he created the earth in two days, and, and then he placed therein an earth from mountains. So the first thing are you, is, are you suggesting that the Quran has a, a contradiction in it? Absolutely, it's so clear, like son. Now, come on, my friend. Jihad, you are a smart man. Don't you see it? One is saying that the, the last thing was created the stars, and one saying the, the here it says the first thing after the earth created it was the the, the, the mountain. I see, my friend. I understand. I'm going to concede this topic. Okay, hmm. I'm going to concede this topic because uh, clearly I don't have an answer. So. But you agree with it's me, fine. it's a clear contradiction. It's so obvious, so clear. I mean, you do not need to be genius. You see, you said to me a second ago, like a while ago, that I go too much little in details. I mean, Allah is going in details. It's his fault. Allah now, he got in details. And because he went in details, he got himself busted. This is going to be from God. The Quran says, if this is a book not other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction in it, correct? The Quran says that. Yeah. Okay. The Quran says you will find contradictions in it if it's not true. Okay. So Allah He made He said the rule how we can find if this is a book from God or not, and the Quran give us the guidance and we follow the guidance. This is contradiction. Don't they consider the Quran? Had it been from other than Allah, they would surely found a lot of uh, discrepancy, whatever contradiction, whatever you call it. And here we go. We found it so easy. So my friend is uh, jihad. I invite you to leave Islam. Surah Al-Baqarah, huh? Yeah, chapter, no, this is chapter of Anissa, verse number 82. I invite you right now, o Jihad, you are, a, you are a, a, a smart person, and there is no way a fool like Muhammad can fool you. I mean, this is foolishness. How does this come from you from God? God don't remember which one he finished first. One chapter he say, the last thing he made is the stars, and the other chapter he say, the first thing he made the stars. 
One chapter he said the first thing after creating the earth he created the mountains and the other one says the last thing he said Allah, the it has a hidden meaning yani. there is a verse where it says some of them are allegorical and my friend and my friend my, my friend no. from <coughs> my friend. Allah is no. talking to you and me and he is explaining how he put things in order so why you want to change even the order which Allah he made I will tell you why because we are ashamed of it. If I'm a Muslim, I will say what I will say. I will come with an answer like yours. Oh, this is a metaphorical maybe. No, it's not. It says mountains. Mountains are not metaphorical. Earth is not metaphorical. Those are physical objects. Stars are not, not metaphorical. Those are we never discussed these topics. You know? But you are discussing it with me now, and you are a smart person, and you speak Arabic, you speak English, wonderful. I speak only one language, which is uh, uh, Indonesian. So you are smarter than me. So n now... <laughs> Yeah, Indonesia. Yeah, yeah. I, like I know to say like Indonesian word like a Christian prince. You know, an Indonesian person. He offered me five BMW and I won them all. <laughs> you know, but he. Okay, well, hmm. at the end of the day, uh, you know, uh, if, if there's a contradiction, then I have to, uh, you know, uh, reevaluate. Uh, you know, some things, but uh, I don't know what else to tell you, my friend. Okay, well, Jihad, you are a smart person, and you just uh, agreed there's a contradiction. So you can, and, and Quran says, if this is not from Allah, you will find this. You found it. So this is not from Allah. This is a fraud book. In the beginning, you try to avoid the Hadith because the Hadith is embarrassing, and you say there's many stories in the Hadith doesn't make sense. I agree with you. All of them they don't make sense, and this doesn't make sense too. The Quran doesn't make sense. You are the one who forced me to go to the Quran. And you are the one who chose a topic. And then when we check the topic you choose, we find it embarrassing. So why a smart person yeah, like Jihad? Jesus says now, therefore, kill every male among the little ones and kill every... No so problem. The thing is, the problem I have, let me mm. tell you something. Mm. When they, when they want to curse Islam and say Islam is violent, this and that, mm. you find the exact same things in the Old Testament. And no as problem. a matter of fact, sir, mm. as a matter of you fact. find a very similar things in the old testament as the quran no no so you, no, how can you, see, how can you uh, throw no, you know throw first of all when you live in a glass house okay jihad let us see when you quote for me a verse from the bible those people they were killing the jews the jews being in slaughter they've been raped they've been taken as a slave the whole nation so they are surviving yeah, between enemies no hold on no 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 go to the book of go to the book of tabari and you will find that go to the book go go to the book of tabari and you will find that the first one tried to insult, start insulting attacking others it was the muslims it's not the opposite secondly if you quote something from a book why you don't quote the whole story you quote history you see here we don't mind i can show you any history of your prophet and we can show any history of the bible but you must then the second we show you the history of your prophet you say oh, this is not accepted those hadith are lies we don't say we don't say we don't say we don't say that I tell you many many people accepted islam throughout the years they will, in the good manners of the they will leave islam okay let us see a good manner of muslim name for me one thing the manner of the muslims can be proud about and what is the best Muslim Muhammad, is it? Yani, yani, yani what? The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he, he was honest. Yani he never told a lie. He did Are you he sure? do a transaction for somebody. He, okay. He, and he brings the money back. Yani he's known for this. Okay. To be honest. Okay. Uh, do you know how Muhammad he married Khadija? Okay. Uh, uh -huh. my, my friend. My, my friend. Do you know how Muhammad he married Khadija? The honest man Muhammad? Khadija, uh -huh. she, uh, she was uh, Muhammad's first wife. Uh -huh. He married her, and uh, she was uh, she she had money, and uh, you know he used to do business transactions for her in Al Sham. Hmm. How how he married her? Do you know? How he married her? Yeah. He went and and made her a big profit in Al Sham. Hmm. And he came back, uh -huh. and she was so happy how honest he is, uh -huh. how much good business he did for her, okay. she proposed to Okay. This is the story written by you Muslims, published by you Muslims, and saved by you Muslims about how Muhammad, he did marry Khadija. Khadija and Muhammad, they made a party, and they made the father of Khadija drunk. And when he got drunk, they took off his clothes, and they made him a dress, 
the wedding clothes or party clothes. You know, all people like you and me, all of us, we have a dress a clothes we wear for what occasion. Are you talking about they got uh, somebody. Uh, here we go. Who this is the from? imam. This is Musnad Ahmad, Al Imam Ahmad, page number three one ten one 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 two, which means uh, three hundred twelve. Very number. Is haram. My friend, read it. No, not, not haram. This is before it was forbidden. It, it was forbidden when Muhammad gets sick. Muhammad and the Muslims, they used to be drunk 24 hours, 7 days a week. To the point they go to the mosque and they are drunk. Okay, go. Okay, read the, read the hate for us and translate, please. Go ahead. You speak Arabic. I told you, my friend, like, I speak Arabic, but my reading level is not high with Arabic. Okay, I will read Arabic. No. Okay, let us, let us work together. I will read Arabic and you translate. Is that fine? I mean, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to tell you, like my Arabic is like uh, my friend, you know, I will, I will, Arabic. I will read the. I will you read. Know? I will read. I will, huh? I will read the Arabic for you. You translate to English. Is that fine? Yeah, hadathna Abu. No, you read Arabic. You go. I will, you. I will. I will read for you. Just uh, okay. I will read for you. You translate. Hmm. Ibn Salama and Ammar. Oh, forget about this. And Ibn Abbas. So the one who reported this, Ibn Abbas, is a very trustworthy person. I'm slow, my friend. I'm slow. I'm okay. slow with it. No you problem. Have to, okay. You have to. Okay. فصنع الطعام وشرابا فدعت أباها وزمر من قريش فطعم وشرب حتى ثملوا فقالت خديجة لأبوها إن محمد بن عبد الله يخطبني فزوجني يا فزوجها إياه فقط. Okay. He wants to go and but they flip her. I mean, he wants to go and order her for marriage. My friend, she right. made her father drunk. Okay, can you can you say that? Can you say that uh, slowly? حتى ثملوا حتى ثملوا فصنعت شرابا طعاما وشرابا فدعت أباها وزمر من قريش فطعموا وشربوا حتى ثملوا فقالت خديجة لأبيها محمد يوانت ماري مي can you marry me? The guy is drunk now. Thamilu, they are drunk. So the the first thing Muhammad he did in order to marry Khadija, it was a fraud, huh? Thamilu, or the word I know for drunk is uh, sakran. It, no, Thamilu is is uh, is drunk. I can I can translate but using Google by the way. Here we go. I'll use Google translation. Here we go. Google translation. Read it to me. There's many words. Okay, read read it to me. Here we go. This is Google translation. Khadija, huh? Uh, she, uh, she, uh, uh, she did make uh, a meal and uh, food and drink and she invited and then it says and the Quraysh after that you know and they drunk until they got a drunk it says even in Google translation they said Khadija to the Quraysh and drank until drunk hmm. so, so this, is, this is the decent prophet this is the decent prophet the first thing he did in his life it was a fraud he made the guy drunk he woke up in the morning. She told him, "I did marry me to her." She said to her, "Why I'm worried?" And look, look how evil she is. Here's when, my question: where, where did you get this story from? That's a question. This is Musnad Ahmad. Here we go. This is your Islamic website, Islamic Library, and this is Musnad Ahmad, and this is page number three hundred twelve, and this is value number one. Is this authentic? For sure, it's authentic, but for for you, it's not, because it's embarrassing. As you would say, it's not authentic for me. So, Muhammad the Honest is a fraud. The first thing he did in his life, he fooled the man, they made him a drunk. He walk, before he woke up, they took off his clothes. Look how evil they are. They took off his clothes and they dressed him a nice suit, the one he wear when there's a wedding party or occasion. So, when he wake up, look, it says here, and he put him in a suit. And when he woke up, he said, why am I wearing those clothes? She said, oh, you did marry me to Muhammad. <laughs> Muhammad the decent, Muhammad the good guy. And drank until drunk. They said Khadija to her father Muhammad, if he unf if he unformed in the suit, said, "Did you translate this?" this is, it my, my, my friend, this is Google translation is not correct, but it says there that when he when he drank, they, they took off his clothes, they dressed him the nice clothes he wear for parties or for occasion, and then when he woke up, she told him, he said, "I'm why I'm wearing this clothes." She said, you married me from Muhammad ibn Abdullah. He said, I will marry I, I, I will marry you to the orphan, not in my life. The, the translation says, in not my age. In Arabic we say, not in my life. That will never happen. Yeah, so, I see, I see. So here, so here, you know, here, look what she said to him after that. She, look, look at the black meaning. Khadija, she said to him, aren't you ashamed you want the tribe of Quraysh? 
are you do you want me to tell them that you were drunk and you did not you were not aware of what you what you did so she drank him in purpose and now she is blacking male in him saying to him if you go and say i will not marry you to this man i will go to the tribe and i will say everybody that you were drunk you are a filthy man and you are not aware of what you are saying she's a black male her, her father this is Khadija, the decent women, and this is Muhammad, her partner. The first thing they did in their life, in their partnership, the decent man. What you about Muhammad? They wanted to marry each other, but they knew the, their, uh, the father wouldn't accept. So exactly. So, but, but they use, they use alcohol. So this is first a cheating. Secondly, they are using alcohol, which is the, from the devil. Isn't it the Quran says alcohol from the devil? Yes. Okay. So the marriage of Muhammad is thanks to the alcohol happened. If not Khadija married to Muhammad, Muhammad will not be a prophet because he used her money in the beginning to make himself a lord. What kind of a man? You said to me he's a decent man. He should not accept. He said, no, either he marry me to you when he is awake or I will not accept. So we didn't know this is uh, true. Aha. Uh -huh. So you Muslims are lying about your prophet, saying things about your prophet, and we the Christians are believing in the lies Muslims they say to us. This is what you are saying to me. But I just want to know what is this source? And my friend, how many times will repeat? Musnad Ahmad. It's in front of you on the screen. Here we go. Even Google translate it for you. Huh. You see it? Let me zoom in. This is the name of the book. Hmm? Yeah, go up. Okay. You have to scroll up. This is the name of the book. And this is the page number. 3, 12, and this is the value, Son. value number one. Imam Ahmad. Uh -huh. Is Imam Ahmad is a Jew? Is he a Hindu? Is he from the Christians? What he is? This is your story. What about Muhammad flirting with the wife of his own son? Is that a decent man? What do you think, Jihad? Would my, would, did, they, did they say that, okay, so it's Hadith, but is it Sahih? My friend, you here we go. We go back to zero now. Is it Sahih? Anything we show to you is not Sahih. For sure it's not Sahih. Because it's embarrassing. No, it's Sahih. But anyone who want to defend Muhammad, he will say it's not Sahih. Okay, well, I mean, if uh, that, that, you know, that's, that doesn't sound good, that, that, you know, that story. Okay. What about Muhammad referring with his own son wife when the husband was away? Uh, jihad. I am not trying to insult you, but I'm going to give you an example. What do you think if you have your father, with my respect to your family, he come to your house and he flirt with your wife? What do you do to him? Adopted son. No problem, adopted son. Not a friend. Real okay. Son. okay, not real son, guys, not real son. So let's say you have a friend, he come to your house. Why do you say son? You didn't tell the viewers my, exactly what it is. No, he is his son, Muhammad, he said, I ana Aba Zaid wa Zaidu ibni. Okay, so, yeah, you know, actually, I know this story. Okay, so Zaid, he was having problems with Zainab. Okay, they were having issues. All right, and on many occasions, okay. the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh -huh. tried to get them to improve their relationship. Okay, and what? what and okay. is, is that and a he so? Made so, it. so, uh, so uh, hold on. So, if you if you have a friend and you have a problem with your wife, is it okay for your friend to come and flirt with your wife? No, not not while we're married. No. Okay, but but here we go. We are divorced. <laughs> but but she was married, and Muhammad he went to her house, and he said to her, "Praise be to Allah, the one who he made... married her." He, he no, okay. before, after, before, before, he, yeah, he, he be, married be, her, be, but be, before. After he tried to fix the relationship. No, he, no. Before, before he married her, he went to the house of his his, his own son wife. Some by adoption doesn't make any difference. And he then, when he was there, he flirted with the women. He said to her, Subhanallah, uh, 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 Subhanallah, praise be to Allah, the one who flipped my heart, you know, make my heart flip for you. Do you accept that somebody is decent? He will go to the house of a woman she is married. Right now she is married. The, pro the Quran says the Prophet has a right to have, to have as many wives as he wants. Uh, and he had the right to flirt with your wife too, right? He has the right to flirt with with, with the, the believer's wives? Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't believe so. Well, here we go. This is the Quran. And this is the chapter. 
and this is the tafsir of your biggest imam supporting it with all valid resource saying that Muhammad when he went to the house of Zaid and Zaid and you speak Arabic which is very helpful for me he went there okay when he when he went there okay read with me please careful I will read, I will read the story for you it says here uh, ثم أنه عليه السلام أتى زيدا يوما يطلبه فأبصر زين بقائمة كانت بيضاء جميلة جسيمة من أتم نساء قريش فهو uh -huh. so Muhammad once he came to visit Zayd so he saw Zayd, Zainab standing and she was so white so beautiful and she was so big you know the Arab they like big women and like today we say the word fat in that time they, they like the women who they are like that and she was the most beautiful woman in Quraysh interesting Fahawiha he loved her why she not? okay he loved her she is married and look what he did وقال سبحان الله مقلب القلوب praise be to Allah the one who made my heart to flip for you <laughs> well, I told you the hadith is, you know, it's questionable. But ah, it's a question. It's not the prophet. The question was, it's the hadith. Guys, 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 guys those, not, those not. are books written, and the Muslim, no, you know, the Muslim, they will go, go crazy if you, if you rip a page of the Quran. Allah Akbar, they burn the Quran. Osmani burn the Quran. Nobody complain. Allah Akbar, they insult the prophet. He will go. The story in your books. Now you are saying to me this is not true, cannot be true. Why? Because it's a, it's a, you know, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It was not embarrassing because the Muslim believe that the Prophet he have the right to sleep with all the believer women. Actually, in the same page I will show you, it says that if the Prophet, the Prophet he have a privilege. If he saw a woman, her husband must divorce her so the Prophet can have her. Is a waqa imra'a. وجب على زوجها. Does it sound good exactly? And here it says, فسمعت زينب بالتسبيح فذكر ذكرتها لزيد. And then فطبينا زيد زيد he said oh, 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 oh my wife obviously she is a bad woman is sleeping with this guy already both are in the same bed together so he went to he went to the prophet says prophet she is not good to me I don't like her you know she hurt me now she hurt him now she hurt him yeah because she told him that your father he was here and he said this and he did that obviously already and look how it says. It says that in Allah بعث ريحا فرفعت الست الستر وزينب متفضلة في منزلها. Allah he sent wind and he and that sent uh, left up the curtain when she is in her house and then he saw Zainab and she you know she was in her house. Wait, 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 are you saying that the oh, hold on are, are you saying that the prophet is is peering through the window يعني? No, he's in the house, but there is a curtain. According to the story, my friend, this is your story. He is in the house. He came to her house. And then, according to the story, there's maybe maybe there was a curtain there. This is this is a different report. You see, there's two stories. He went there first one. He saw her standing. She was white, very beautiful. Faha, we he loved her. You know, he he have a lust for her. And then he said the other story. He was saying that the what happened exactly is there was a curtain, and Allah sent the wind. It's what the wish of Allah. He sent the wind so the prophet can see her and you feel in love with her and said, فَوَقَعَ فِي نَفْسِ زَيْدٍ أَنْ يُطَلِّقَ. So Zayd now he knew that Muhammad. He's having sex with his wife already, obviously. And then, وَقَلَى إِبْنَ عَبَّاسِ وَتُخْفِي فِي نَفْسِكَ الْحُبَّ لَهَا Are you hiding that you love a woman? But she's married! Okay, well, if, 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 I mean, I don't, uh, you know, this is not good. Okay, not good. But, and not only that, but, by, by the way, what, as, as, ever, Jihad, Jihad. You know, jihad. another thing that I reject jihad, is I, I, that I wanna... Aisha was nine years old. Yeah. I completely reject no that. Problem, no problem, no problem. Because, you know, I'm a Sunni, but uh -huh. some stuff, you know the Shia, and I can uh, I can say that. Uh, look, did you ever hear that she was eighteen, nineteen when she married him? My, and she was married. My to friend, him my friend, Jubair, my Ibn friend, Ibn. my friend. Aisha, when she was seventeen, going to her eighteen, Muhammad died. So how she will marry him when he was eighteen? She was eighteen. 
my friend, wake up. Listen. Do you, they put her do you down see? Here. Do you see the screen? It says that Zainab she claimed there's a miracle happened when Muhammad he, after he liked her. It says, and Zaid and Tawarna Dali Kaminu Hina Arada and Yakuba. Each time Zaid, each time Zaid he tried to have sex with his wife, Allah he make his penis swell. Can, can you see how amazing the miracle jihad? That's it. Muhammad he liked the women. Allah will make the penis of the husband swell. And Zainab, she said, the reason that this is here, he could not do it. Allah, she's saying here, and Zayd, he came to his bed to have sex with her. Qalat Zainab, he could not do it to me. Boom, boom. And he could not do it just because Allah, he could not let him do it. That's it, Muhammad, he want me. There's no way he can do it to me. And then she came, she continued saying, In Zayd and Tawarra Madari Kaminu Hina Arada and Yakruba. Each time he said he tried to do boom boom to her, Allah make his penis a shrug. They were having problems in their marriage. My friend, but you see the miracle here? Allah, he made the penis of the husband swell. That said, she is reserved for Muhammad. She is the wife who cares. Muhammad, she is reserved for him. Nobody can put his inside. So the guy he want to have sex, Allah, he make his penis a swell. And this is your decent prophet. Is it true? Is it true that your prophet was accused by a Muslim that he stole a bikini? I, I saw that you have said that previously to okay. somebody else. Okay, so is that true or not? Um, Why I'm not sure whether if, that's if, Muhammad, if Muhammad is the decent and he is so famous to be decent, so what kind of followers? This is, this is not the enemy accusing him that he stole a bikini. It was his followers. So why the followers, they will think that you are not decent if your reputation will know that you are decent, accusing him of a sin of piece of clothes. These people, they hear me. Can you make it so they don't hear me? I, don't, I just want to... They hear you. They hear you. Don't worry. They hear you. No, I don't want them to hear me. What do you mean you don't want them to hear you? You call me live. I'm live on air. And you are in YouTube. It's not up to you. You call me live. Uh, and you... yeah, it looks like they're laughing at me. Don't worry about them. Focus with me here. Nobody is laughing at you. They are laughing at Muhammad, not at you. So what do you think? If a person is well known to be decent, why even his followers accusing him that he took and he stole the clothing? And by the way, those clothing themselves are stolen. Muhammad, he attacked the people, the caravan. He stole the clothes. Now the thieves and Muhammad, they are fighting over the, 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 the uh, clothes and there's one red velvet is missing and Muhammad was accused that he took it. They accused him, those Sahabi that they are, some of, you know, some of those Sahabi, they are liars. Ah, okay, but and Allah, and look at, uh, Jihad, I want to ask you, uh, I don't know if you work, if, uh, if you ever been working in the uh, army or police, me myself i did so when you investigate something and i didn't hear you about working with what i'm saying i don't know if you worked before with the army or the police when you work with the police you investigate the issue so if somebody accused somebody of stealing, what do you do what do you do you check it out right you search for the object to find it look what allah he did the people they accused muhammad hold on the people they accused muhammad that he stole an underwear how Allah he defend Muhammad? He did not say, oh, I know the guy who took the underwear. Go to his house, open the drawer. You will find it there. No, he said, it's not Muhammad. So who is it is? As long as Allah, imagine guys, Allah making a, cha, a verse in a Quran, in a holy book supposedly, saying it's not Muhammad who stole the underwear. Okay, if Allah is God, shouldn't he say who took it? That would be amazing. As long as Allah, he knew the Big Bang as you claim. Don't Allah know where the panty is? So Allah, he knew where the Big Bang, but you do not know where the panty. His specialty is the Big Bang. But when it's come to the panty, Allah is not, he don't know best. Allah know nothing. Right? How come Allah do not know who took the panty? Shouldn't he say in the verse, okay guys, go to the house of this guy, open, enter his bed, you will find it, he hide it there, and then people will be astonished how Allah knew. Unbelievable. He knew the unseen. Instead, he said, it's not him who took it. What kind of God this God is? Why you don't tell us who took it? 
Huh? You are God. This is not me. A, a human being, he says, it's not me. Okay, but I, can, I don't know who to get. I don't know because I'm limited in my knowledge. But this is God. So God, he sent the verse, says, it's not Muhammad who took the panty. Shouldn't Allah say who took it? Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's, hmm. okay. So what do you think, Jihad? You're still going to be Muslim after all this madness, my friend? Well, I, uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say yes or no. I just want to, you know, think about it. It's not an easy question. No, uh, come on. You are smarter than this. You know, Jihad, come on. You are a smart person. What easy question? N nobody's saying it's an easy question, but we, I mean, how clear we can make it to you more than this? I mean, it's obvious. A person was accused and he's the most important person for Allah. Allah, he's in the verse, says it's not him. But Allah did not say who did yeah, it. Yeah, doesn't, it doesn't, uh, doesn't sound good, no. Doesn't sound good, I agree with you. You know, obviously Muhammad, he made this verse, says it's not me. This is Muhammad making this verse. There's no way this God. God, he will say, hey guys, go to the house of this guy. He is the, is the thief. Don't accuse the prophet again. People, they go there, they got him busted. Praise be to Allah, the one who told us what, what you do not know. But to send the verse says, it's not Muhammad who took the panty, but he did it. He, he, why Allah don't want to tell us who took the panty? Don't he knew? I, I guess, I mean, it, so, it, it sounds like it's, 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 it's a cover up. It's a cover up, exactly. Because if Allah, if Allah the one is talking for real, he will clear the name of Muhammad once for all. Not only he will say it is not him, he will say it is not him, this is the guy. People, they go there, they find it, and bingo. You just make assumptions on what Allah is going to say or not going to say. You no, know, my friend, there's accusation here. There's accusation. It's not about if Muhammad is the most important man for Muhammad. You see, how come Allah, he have time to tell us about the ant who spoke to Sulaiman, and the ant, they don't speak, they are mute. You go read right now in any any scientist uh, scientific uh, uh, book, you will find that ants are mute and deaf. Allah have time to tell us that Suleiman was walking in the valley, and then one of the ants she said to the other ants, "Hide, okay, hide what what do you do, ant? Tell us who took the panty. Which one is more important? A person accused uh, there. He have all the details you want. Okay, my friend, I, I see your point. I see your point. That's fine. Okay. I guess it doesn't doesn't really uh, make sense to me this kind of stuff here. All right. But I never was uh, I was never really yeah I, mean, I didn't pay attention too much to the, to this kind of stuff just how you know I'm gonna pray how I'm gonna fast how I'm gonna deal with my family but I don't look at all these details and stuff like that. Okay. So, so now we do now we do. So thanks to uh, you know, to you thinking with me, you you know, we were able to find out, and now you know, this time is fast. There's no, there's no question about that. Be honest with me. Don't you notice now, this time is fast? It would uh, would appear so. Okay, so this is the case. Thank you, Jihad. He, he left Islam. We are so happy for Jihad. He just denounced Islam. Islam appeared fast to him. I, I'm so happy for you, Jihad, that you denounced Muhammad okay. and the false prophet. But I want to ask you now: as long you agree that Muhammad is false. And obviously nothing good about him and nothing truthful. How in the all this time you did not notice that jihad? How I didn't I didn't notice it? He did not notice that Muhammad is false. I mean you are a, you are a growing man, you are educated, you are smart. What was preventing you from seeing what you just noticed now? You just agreed that Islam is false and you left Islam. But why in the past you did not I notice that? Huh? I just I mean I, I uh, I don't want to. I don't want to wanna look at that stuff. I just want to focus on the good stuff. What well, yeah, focus on the good stuff? But well, there's nothing good there. I mean, what good? What is the good about Muhammad? Did you ask yourself, Jihad, about God want to give me virgins in heaven for praying for him? I mean, this is God. Come on, virgins. Yeah, the virgins in the heaven. You don't know the virgin. The Quran describes even what is inside their vagina. Don't you know? Virgins doesn't sound bad if it's heaven. They are in heaven, and Allah described they have big boobs, and He described for you how they have vagina. Wrong with that? Huh? What's wrong with that? Don't you think that God should not speak in such a way? 
Dude. Heaven is heaven. You can have whatever you want. Okay, so but heaven became a nightclub, and heaven became there's no dignity because simply, if a woman she is created just for sex, you don't even know who she. Isn't it? This is another form of slavery. When the Quran describes for you that you will have little boys in this heaven, isn't it? This is a child abuse. So to make one person happy, I will make eighty thousand little boys servant for you who well, will not be talking about that but you're you're taking it from a human understanding this is a completely different dimension and a completely different it is not humans it is not it is not no it is not just these my friend these which are allah, allah is speaking to the for when, you. when allah he described what is inside the human vagina the women vagina is that a human understanding or allah understanding Okay, now you're getting very specific. It doesn't, you know, it's, yeah, the one who, the one who is a good Muslim, he can have virgins in heaven. What, what is, what's the problem? The problem, does that make sense? I mean, if... Okay, let us go, let's go and make it simple. Already you left Islam, you see, I'm not discussing where you leave Islam, already you are out of Islam. But let me, let me make it simple. The Quran and the, the, and the Hadith say that, that okay. that's well, when Adam he created he, Allah he created one Eve correct Adam and Eve okay so why Allah did not create for us in heaven when we go back Adam and Eve again why we are going to have all those hundreds and thousands of women and slaves what is this it was Adam and Eve this is heaven heaven what happened how does it change what well, it changes the God the story the, the story of Adam and Eve is starting from a different book. With different value. Muhammad is told the story and now he had to build his own heaven. He tried to seduce the Arab and he tempted them and he claimed that those women they have a nice vagina and no genie step with him and no man step with them. Nobody opened the door. In the top of that, each time you sleep with them, Allah will put whatever inside and he will make them virgin again, which is a cheating, stupid, you know. I mean that is just a step with her. You make her virgin for one. That is silly. In the top of that, Muhammad he claimed that those women are so white to the point you can see through the marrow of their bones. Correct? Yeah, I heard that. Okay. Don't you think this is stupid? Why Why I want to see a woman, I will see through the marrow of her bones. What that exactly would do to me? To see her bones? Yeah. No, she is so white. This is why you can see through the marrow of her bones. What is exactly the pleasure in that? What do you think? This is ugly, actually. Don't you agree, Jihad? I mean, it's. Uh, I don't. I don't understand the point. Yeah. This is not only. It's not. It's ugly. It's stupid. I mean, but this guy, because he is speaking to the Arab, and the Arab racist, and you are an Arab. I am an Arab, I guess. So he promised them things the Arab like. They like women yeah, who are. See, just yeah. I, 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 I suppose yeah. It doesn't sound like it's. Uh, Yani, if you want to ex, yani, do you see uh, uh, jihad? You excite somebody to, yeah. you know. Well, jihad as long. You can make them believe that, yeah. Jihad, I'm going to try to make you believe in Islam now because you decide to leave it. Look, look at the screen and look what you are missing now. You will not go to the heaven of Allah and you will not get this. Look at the screen. This is what the hadith is saying. You will see the marrow of the bones of the women. This is what you are missing right now. After you decide that Islam is a silly, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> see it? Uh... Yeah. This oh is, yeah, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss that. Oh, uh, exactly. I'm so you see, look, look how sexy, man. I mean, come on, you have me and you. Let us be, you know, man to man. We have to be honest. This is unbelievable. Look at this position, my friend, and look at the high heels. And this is what you. This is what Muhammad says. You will see the marrow through the marrow of their bones. Through what? Through the marrow of their bones. What? What's wrong with this guy? I mean, he could not come with something different. We will see the marrow of their bones. And this is supposedly very pretty. Amazingly pretty. I just thought they were gonna have, you know, big breasts. And you will you know you will you will be able to have sex with them. No. That's no. what the the Quran says. No. But you know, we have to be honest here, the the benefit of having this you can see what she ate, you know, if she took your hamburger or something, she cannot lie anymore. 
It's like she ate your hamburger. She said, I did not eat it. You say, I can see it, you idiot. It's in your stomach. I can see through. So here Allah is doing us a favor. <laughs> what a stupid religion. And I'm really surprised that... Hey, my friend, you made your point. I guess that's enough for me. I want to close my Skype, okay? All right. I'm happy for you, Jihad, that you decide to leave Islam and the garbage of Muhammad. If you have, if you, if you decide, I invite you right now to accept the Messiah as your savior, oh, and I'm not gonna do that. No. All right, no problem. It's up to you. If you if you feel like it, let me know. Call me. Thank you. All right, take care. The first step. Always there's a first step. If you see, guys, the first comment he sent me. I am a Muslim, I will refute you. This is the first comment he sent me. I'm a Muslim, I will refute you. I'm being refuted. Yeah. Well, glory to the Lord. Every day we prove that Islam is a garbage. They call us and they are excited to debate us about Islam. And then the decent one, like Jihad, is a decent person, we have to admit. You know, he did not go in arrogance and say, I don't know, I'm not going to listen, and it's not true, you know, blah, blah, blah. He said he could not resist the truth, that this is obviously is a fraud. He had decency. Many, what they do, they go in denial. They knew that, we are showing it in the screen, I mean, nobody can deny that. But because it is very painful, some they go in denial. It's like somebody would deny that this has happened to him. So he go and live in different stage, in illusion. Uh, somebody, uh, uh, look, guys, look what, uh, look what happened when the Muslims, they see people leaving Islam after calling me. Just to give an example. Danger, he's saying. CP. You can never refute Islam. You just to prove it's perfect. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's so good. So after watching me all this time and jihad, he left Islam. I just to prove Islam is perfect. So jihad, he left Islam because Islam is perfect. Perfect though. I hope more Muslims will call me and I prove to them Islam is perfect. And in the end of the call, they will leave Islam. That's perfect for me. Is it perfect for you? I'm sure the camel urine is taking effect in you, my friend. Don't change your diet. It's the best. Forget about the rest. Hmm? Yeah, too much camel urine. All right. Oh, boy. Anyway, guys, uh, I was going to go and talk more. We, we, we will continue later about this uh, journey to the heaven. And we will finish with this. I want to say so you you people can you know download the video and share it and add subtitle. We are happy for jihad that he decided to leave Islam, but at the same time I'm sad that he did not accept the offer to accept Jesus. I hope soon he will reconsider and think carefully. We would like to save him. He sounds like a nice person, smart man, and we would like to save all the Muslims, not only jihad. We pray at the end of today that all Muslims will be saved and all Muslims will be follow jihad. The one who called me to do jihad on me, he ended leaving Islam on Muhammad and he now do jihad on Muhammad. God is amazing and God, he says, read the books, search the truth. I am the truth. That is the Messiah. I am the truth. And the truth will set you free, my friend. That is the words of my Lord. Nothing is equal to the truth, for the truth is God, and the truth is the only one can free us from all kind of slavery. A human being, when he is ignorant, he is enslaved. And Jesus want to free you from your slavery, from your ignorance. You are under the threat of slavery when you are ignorant. Anyone can fool you, anyone can control you. You are just ignorant. The Messiah don't want you to be ignorant. 
In the Quran, in chapter 5, verse 101 says, Ask not questions. Verse 102 it says, Because former generation asked the same questions and they left the faith. Jesus says, Read the books. Ask me questions. Knock at my door and I will answer you. I apologize for comparing someone like the Messiah to someone like Muhammad. But because our mission is a dirty mission, we are speaking, we are, we are dealing with the dirt. Each time I go and speak about Islam, many people think maybe I like talking about this garbage. This garbage, this is garbage, make me sick. But somebody have to clean the garbage. Somebody have to do it. Don't forget to subscribe to our page in Patreon, so you always you can notify it by email because YouTube are censoring our accounts, so you don't receive any email from them. In Patreon, you will receive email from Patreon the second I post something, and you will be notified that I will be live on air. So go there, subscribe, even if you don't like to do a donation. Our service is for free. You donate, you don't donate. That will not really make any difference for me. I will still serve you happily and with no question. And for sure, we appreciate those who support us by donation because your support is needed. However, our service is for free. And if you are a person who speaks languages for the books, we post it for free. Right now, today, we publish the book in Polish for free, translated by a brother of us. I'm very thankful for him, a wonderful man, a wonderful person who voluntarily did all the work, work hard for a long time to make this book happen. And soon, maybe tomorrow or the day after, I will publish one of my books in the Serbian language, which is fully understood by Croatian and Bosnian and Serbian. And it's for free again. And in case you do not know, we have my book in Indonesian language for free, two books. We have in Malay for free, and we have a Russian and Albanian. So the collection of free books is growing. Thanks to the Lord and thanks for those who are helping us by doing the translation voluntarily. We appreciate them all. We pray for their, them and their family. May the Lord reward them for helping more people to be saved from the cult of Muhammad. I want to say thank you all for your support. And I pray that all of us, we will be united. We as a Christians will never be divided. There's nothing called Catholic, nothing called Protestant, nothing called Orthodox. There's only the followers of Christ. Be a follower of a Christ, never follow a man, never follow a Christian prince, never follow a bishop, never follow a priest. They will disappoint you. All men is sinners, the Bible say. So why you follow a man? All men are sinners, no exception, no exception. Don't put your trust in, in a man, never. Trust the Lord. And in the Lord I trust that all of you, you have a good heart and the good of you will give good fruits by sharing the truth with your friends and your family, bringing more people to Christ. Be holy like your father, who he said, I am the light, I am the truth, I am the way. Be holy. It's a project to work in, doesn't make you holy, but it is walking the walk in this earth, as our church father did, did trying their best to be holy so they can be considered children of God. One of the beautiful things the Lord, he says, when you pray, pray like this, our Father out of heaven. Christ, he wants you to be a child of God, not a slave. Our Father, can you imagine praying to God, calling him Father? How much this Father, he humbled himself. He is the King of Kings. We are not even a mosquito for him. Yet he allow us to call him our Father. This is his most beloved word. Our Father. He do not need slaves. He do not need to be a master. Those words mean nothing. Not like the God of Islam who add the word dream before his name. Because he's fake and fabricated. He want to be proud. Our God, he humbled himself. He came as a man. The Bible says that the Lord, he sent. Our Father, he sent his only begotten son to save the whole world. The whole world, not the Asian, not the black, not the white, all of us were a family. 
we are children of God we are equally created we be loved by him there's no black there's no Greek there's no Hebrew there's no Indonesian there's no Arab all of us we are a family of a Christ how beautiful and all of us we are delicious fruit in the table of the Lord we have different color we have different look but we have one fruit the fruit of Jesus